So now we can just further simplify that. So that is a 90 plus E that I can just write down as it is minus A is equals to del max. So that is the condition for your maximum deviation. So at the same time, the condition for your minimum deviation, which we already found. So where we can say that when the refracted ray is exactly parallel to the base. So in this case, how we can show that. So this refracted ray is exactly parallel to the base. Mm -hmm. So in that condition, you can say that R is equals to E as well as R1 is equals to R2. Then for this I plus E, which is equals to A plus del. So 2I is equals to A plus del minimum. Yeah. And again, I is equals to A plus del M upon 2. Okay, fine. So this is how you can find. And at the same time, we know that R1 plus R2 is equals to A. So 2R is equals to A and R is equals to A by 2. So this is also the important result for the condition for your maximum deviation. So one more thing that we can find over here. So when I'm saying that the condition for grazing emergence, so this is one case where there might be possibility or you can condition or you can just consider one more case over here for the condition for your grazing of emergence. So in that case, so what you're going to do over here. So again, apply the same thing. So let's say I'm saying that for this surface AB, you have to just apply that your Snell's law. So that is obviously what we can say mu2 upon mu1 and that is sin i upon sin r yeah or let's say it is r1 then the next thing that is a let's say n is the refractive index then this is r1 and then this is your sin i okay so you can find the value of your angle of incidence for which the ray grazes along this side also yeah so for that case again further so this sin i you can write it down that is a n1 yeah that is a n and this r1 further we can write it down since now we know that r1 plus r2 is equals to a this is r1 plus c is equals to a so r1 is equals to a minus c yeah so again further simplifying you can get the value of your i also for which the ray just grazes along this surface ac also so this one that is nothing but we have just find that is the minimum value of n for which it is grazes along that surface and for this case we are getting the value of i for which the ray grazes along the surface ac so we are just taking the two different conditions yeah so we can just further simplify that is the same thing you have to simplify it that is the n again i will say that similarly we can do one thing so that is a sign of a minus c so where I can raise that is a sin A that is a cos C minus that is a cos A into sin C fine. So just do this calculation. So again, I'm saying that. So this is your sin A and again cos C obviously, which I can write it down square root of one minus your sine square C. Yeah. And again, fine. That is a further that is a cos A and your sine c okay so by just putting these values by just putting these values and simplifying you will get or you can find easily the value of that your i so which is we can say the condition of grazing